Today we're talking battery storage. Is it for you and should you get one? Welcome to the Everything Electric Show. In recent episodes, homeowners have told us that the battery storage is their favourite piece of kit. So in today's episode, we're going to go through the basics and why you might want one. So why should you get battery storage in the first place? Well, they can help you make the most of your PV array by storing all your excess solar PV into the battery so you can use it later on the day. Also, if you're on a cheap night tariff with your energy provider, you can configure your battery to charge at night time where it's cheaper and then use that cheaper electric for the day when it's more expensive, saving you money. Battery storage is a great solution if you can't have solar. They're a pretty non-invasive bit of kit to install and it generally takes about a day. Also, if you move house, the battery can move with you. Let's talk about physical space. Batteries can be very heavy, so they're best installed on a ground level. They come in many different sizes and your installer can help you select the right one for you. Once your battery is up and running, there's very little maintenance, if any. Every battery comes with its own app, so you can see exactly what it's doing. So once it's plugged in, you can pretty much leave it alone. Don't forget the fully charged live events in 2023 featuring the Home Energy Advice Team, where you can have a one-on-one -on -one session with an expert to go through your future plans. Make sure you book your session as soon as you arrive as the heat experts are very popular. When it comes to deciding what battery size is right for you, there are two things to consider. The first thing being your energy bill. You want to find a battery that can cover all of it or most of it. In some cases, you may need more than one battery. The second thing to think about is your budget. How much money do you have to play with? You should always try and get the best you can for the money you have. And remember, you can add more in the future. So if you find it's not big enough, you can just add more. Your battery will need to be installed by a qualified professional. You may also need to think about upgrading your fuse board or having a separate one put in for your battery. You'll also need to have an inverter for your battery. This is typically installed next to the battery itself. And your inverters can vary in size. And that's basically just a big smart box which is going to convert your DC electricity into AC electricity so your house can use it. Finding an approved installer is the best option. You can find MCS accredited installers on the MCS website. You can also use a site called Trustpilot which gives you great reviews on work already carried out. Always get at least three quotes so you can pick the one that suits you best. And always make sure they're willing to come on site to look at the work that needs doing first. One question we get asked a lot is if there's a power cut, will you still have power from the battery? And the answer to that is yes and no. It all depends what battery you've had installed. Some batteries have a straight switch over, some use EPS. If this is something that concerns you, the best thing to do is speak to your installer so that you can have the right battery fitted for you. One other thing to bear in mind is that batteries do not benefit from the 0% VAT that the solar and heat pumps do but they can save you money by charging them on a cheap nighttime tariff. Batteries are a great piece of technology and can save you money with or without solar PV. Remember to do your research on your property. And if you need some more help, your installer will be there step by step to help you along the way. Do like, comment and subscribe to the Everything Electric show. And if you want tickets for the fully charged live show, then head on over to the website. And as always, if you have been, thanks for watching.